All right, so you've had your super app on for a little while. You went off-roading. Maybe you did a little bit too much drifting. Whatever it may be, you got some rock chips on your wheels. Now's the time to fix them up. So we're gonna teach you how to touch up super app. Yeah. This guy. It takes science. A lot of American know-how. Constant tinkering in the laboratories in Rockford. So welcome to Super App Labs episode five, where it's all about touch-ups. If you're looking for a specific type of touch-up, uh, check the timestamps down below to jump to whatever section you need to watch. Somewhere, I somewhere. Feel them. You can feel them? Yeah. Okay. Nice. So with gloss black, space gray, and arctic white, those don't require a base coat. So touching them up is a whole lot easier. However, pretty much every other color does require a base coat. Exactly. So you're gonna have to take a bit more time um, and it does get a little bit more tricky. So we're gonna show you how to do those. Um, but first, there are a few tips and tricks that you need to know uh, to make sure that your wheels actually can be touched up. Which is it can be touch up? <laughs> can be catch up? Right now, you might look at some rock chips on your wheels and they look like decent little rock chips, not like tears. This is where you can touch it up. If they are tears where the product is actually lifting from the surface and you can see that there's a clear amount of air or water that could go underneath, you're gonna need to peel this whole section of the wheel. So either it's gonna be from the lip of the wheel or it's gonna be on a spoke. You need to peel that whole section to have a clean cut and really perform a good touch up to make sure that first, it's not gonna show and second, it's not gonna peel again on that same section. Yeah. If it happened to any other accessories, please apply the same principles. So would you say it's you know maximum the size of a quarter or does it really not matter the size? It's really just a question of whether the edges are lifting. Good point. First, if it's the size of a quarter, take it as a maximum because that was a big <laughs> rock. You guys are lucky to only have a chip on your Subaru. <laughs> now, if the edges are lifting, that's a really good point. If the edges are lifting, this is where it's a tear. It's not really just a chip that took off a clean part of the wrap. It's really tearing up the wrap. So this kind of chip, you need to peel off the whole section, whether it's the lip, uh, a spoke on your wheel, or you can apply the same principles to other accessories like mirror, spoiler, or other parts on your car. All right, so I think that's enough chit chat. We're gonna get right to it. Vince has got some space gray on the M2, and I mean, you beat on it pretty hard. Yep, a little chip from the racetrack. So uh, we're gonna repair it live in front of y'all, and you're gonna see how easy it is to touch up this product. And then after I had some gunmetal on the truck, it takes a beating, and so we've actually got some little chips on that as well. So no better way to show you guys than on our cars. So let's jump right into it. Blah, 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 blah. All right, now that the masking is done and we have the wheel nice and prepped, we're gonna start spraying. So today we're working with Space Gray, really a nice color. So this rock chip here happened on the racetrack a week ago. So we're gonna correct this one today and show you how it's done. We're gonna start spraying right now. So I'm just gonna shake the can for one full minute. Test spray beside the surface. And now what you want to do when correcting a rock chip like this is making sure that you focus the spray right on this area, but also mist around. So you have a nice blending effect on the coat you're gonna perform. So today we're gonna do four to five coat on that rock chip and match the color perfectly. First light coat. All right, so second coat now, we're gonna go with a wet coat. Once your four to five coats are done and you have the perfect color coverage on the chip you just corrected, you're gonna do the blending coats. So one tack coat on all the wheel and one or two wet coats to make sure that it's all blended in and your wheel looks brand new.
for the last final blending coat, we want to make sure that everything is really even and that we have a perfect finish. So we recommend using the clear coat that we sell apart from the kits, the wheel kits. So I'm gonna go and apply one last wet coat with this product. All right, so Vince showed you how to mask up and touch up a wheel when it's a color that doesn't require a base coat. Um, so we're gonna jump into doing that same kind of touch up, but when you actually have to lay down a base coat. The first thing to do, of course, like when you're spraying them for the first time, is to mask off the tire. We're going to mask off the valve stem. We're gonna get the center cap out. We're going to then take low adhesion tape. Low adhesion tape is uh, something that won't be regular body shop tape. That's very high adhesion. Regular household painting tape um, is a lot better. You'll typically see on the packaging for tape adhesion levels, so if you can, go for the lowest possible. And if you still feel like it's too uh, sticky, um, you can actually stick it a couple times on a surface, get it a little bit dirty, and that way, once you go and stick it onto the super wrap in order to mask off the area you're spraying, um, you won't have it adhere too much and then start lifting your finish. Sick tip. SickTip.com. So, we're gonna go ahead, mask everything off, center cap out, uh, valve stem covered, we're going to, again, low adhesion tape off the area we want to be spraying. Prep the wheel, again, as you normally do when you're spraying the wheel for the first time. And then start laying down our base coat, get our nice even coverage of base coat, go for the color on top of that, so for this gun metal. And then at the end, we're going to go for a blend coat, so we're going to get rid of the painter's tape that's around that specific area. We'll keep the rest around the tire to keep that from getting any overspray. Um, and then we'll go for a couple blend coats with the color and then with the clear. And at the end, we'll have a nice filled in rock chip and you won't even know what ever happened and I'll be ready to go screw it up again in the trails. All right, so we've masked off the tire. The center cap is out. We've masked off the valve stem. The surface is now prepped. So we're gonna go ahead and mask around the area that we're gonna be touching up. So Vince just taught me a pretty cool trick and that is when you're gonna be going to mask that area, if you go and tape just straight down, you're gonna end up having really hard lines and harsh lines around that area. But if you just go to the very top of your tape like this and fold it down, that way, wow, great job. Movie magic. Once you've got it creased, you're gonna see that one half of it is sticky and the other half of it is not. And so by having this section on the inside to where it's where you're spraying, you're actually gonna end up with a soft line instead of a hard line, which is created by tape being stuck directly onto it. That's just gonna make it a lot easier to blend at the very end because again, the line isn't gonna be as harsh. So if you do that all around the area that you're touching up, the blending is gonna be a lot easier. So we're gonna jump right into it. All right, so we're going ahead with our first light coat here. Just gonna get a nice tack coat, make sure that there's no contamination, and then we're gonna wait 10 minutes and go for the rest. So we're gonna go ahead and do our first wet coat. There you go. We're already starting to get some color coverage in that chip. All right, so going for a fourth coat here. As you can see, we're already starting to fill that in completely. We just have a little bit of texture, but that'll go away once we get into the, the last coats. We're gonna jump right into the gun metal. So this is where we're gonna start to get our full color coverage. It's gonna kind of match up with the rest of the wheel. And once we've done the isolated spraying on this section, we're gonna unmask and blend it all together. So here we go with the first coat. We've gotten our fourth coat of gunmetal on here. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna unmask the area um, and then start a full blend coat of gunmetal on the rest of the wheel, which is gonna come and again, even out uh, the finish on the wheel, just to once again, tie it all together and then we should be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead, unmask this, 
and then throw on some more gunmetal. All right guys, so it's really that simple. Take your time and it's really easy to blend that color, make your Super App look brand new. And while you're at it, as we've already said, if you've picked up a can of Super App Clear, yeah. there's no better time once you've got those wheels masked up to just hit them with some, some gloss. If you've got a gloss finish, if you don't, well, don't do it. Um, a little refresh. Yeah, there's no better time to refresh the finish on your wheels once you've got it or them off. Um, and from there, you've got some fresh looking super app. So if you guys have any questions, comments, disregards, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see the new episodes coming out um, as soon as we can get these out. And give us some f***ing feedback, will you? <laughs> uh, we want to hear it. We don't know what we're doing out here, so let us know. And make sure to subscribe because we've got the build series coming out, so the M2 is becoming a fully track prepped machine and the truck is going to become something ridiculous that we can jump over the M2. So, stay tuned. Holy shit, we're still doing this. Yeah, we better fuck him up. <laughs> but it would be sick. Dude, that shot with the matte colors, with the M2 doing a burning. Like that bullshit, yeah, it becomes very difficult. Like, uh, like oh, oh, a even burning, yeah, I, I can't go in there. Oh my god, no. Well, like, we could just jump the truck down a little bit.